Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. It's been a while. Deep Web 231, ladies and gentlemen, with the boys and the girls. We're spending a nice good old Sunday, actually recorded on a Sunday. It's a little morning right now. I've been kind of having intermittent sleep problems. And uh, since a certain driver drove past revving his vehicle, mind you, at 6 a.m. in the morning... Uh, I'm finally back and I'm relaxing and it's time to get into the very, 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 very exciting episode of Deep Web Browsing. So let's crack a cold one and get to our very first website. Seriously, it's like 6 a.m., dude. Who cares? All right. So this is futurevisionaries.com. Oh, ho, 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 ho. boy. Oh, boy. Now, uh, my name is Kent G. Anderson and I'm the founder, president of futurevisionaries.com and Global Future Brands. I want you to know that I've been through it, and so it may help you. I can't tell you in words how I feel every day I live with this, knowing that your ideas, your rights to the brand future are being taken every day since September 2004. The day I was set up in September, I feel like the World Trade Center... It's going to be one of those deep web browsing videos. <laughs> no. Oh, man. If I had released this on the phone. Find out how I was destroyed and also how the world I had created got destroyed. Also, how an agreement was hidden for more than two years and the attorney who I trusted set me up. I would like you to know their names. You, the people, should contact them right to the USP2.gov. Tell them how you feel. I fought for your global rights and ideas to the brand Future. You know, if it, I wonder if this was like, maybe this is like super old. Do you think like Future the rapper knows that his brand could potentially be taken over? All I know is I was stabbed in the back and your ideas and mine taken from me. I'm not rich. I work a security job at high school for years, nor do I own a new car or a home. I live at home. I can't tell you how much is spend in time allowances for the future. Is this guy in high school or is he like... Is it like, is he, does he work a security job at a high school? I feel like, no, no, he had, no, he's way past. What am I saying? What fucking high schooler works a security job at their high school? That would, Muda, you are dumb, dumb in the morning. All right, let's go down over here. So, um, I don't like monopolies, uh, global rights, whatever. No press will even do a story on me. ABC, NBC, CBS, talk shows, tabloids, nor does any attorney want to represent me in federal court because I don't have the money. Okay, so I'm going to skip past all this shit and I'm going to kind of I'm going to kind of get through. So we know that nobody wants to support this fucking person. And they're definitely opposing a shit ton of legal like look at look at this shit. Opposition number 9115738. Like, do you see the amount of opposition numbers over here? Clearly the brand future means a lot to this person. God bless. And they have a GoFundMe page. I can't imagine this reached its, it did not reach its lofty goal of 50,000 US dollars. I am an inventor way ahead of my time and I've always wanted to help people around the other countries of the world. Over 15 years ago, they wanted to share the brand. This is, this has to, I don't know if this can be a fucking meme. I have no idea if this can even be a fucking meme. This is too much. They even have a YouTube video. Let's watch the YouTube video. MOV. 20 th this is not a meme. I repeat, this is not a may-may, ladies and gentlemen. 2013? This is a vintage may-may. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. I'm done. My name is Kent G. Anderson, founder of FutureVisionaries.com, global future brands and future country. Um, today, we are here for the Coconut Kids. And the Coconut Kids, uh, I love the islands and people and stuff came from the Coconut Kids over a decade ago. Um, it's very hard to break in the toy industry, and around Christmas time here, maybe the Coconut Kids, you know, see something. It's a three minute long video. We're not even talking about the brand future, we're talking about fucking Coconut Kids. Discovered in the black hole deep in outer space, their planet was sucked in the black hole. Our space team of space engineers. This? It's like a. <laughs> It's like a kid's toy. Read my letters to President Obama. No fucking way. Dear Mr. President, I voted for you. A people president, I call you. I see so much of myself in you. USA was created from an idea and people who believed in freedom for all. Great country we live in. I created future country from our company, our country in IP. Hope to help people of all countries in a way ahead of my time. Future country is all people, all countries. People work together, share, own the brand future of their own ideas. 1998 to 2012. Dude, I, 
I, I, okay, this is, this is, like, way too fucking much. This is, like, this brand future is, like, this, this is, like, it's, it's like I'm reading the ramblings of, like, just, just, just crazy. It's too much. It's literally the ramblings of this, like, brand called future. This is an actual person who trademarked this brand, and now they're, like, running it to the point of, like, just, Everywhere. They're making kids' toys under it. They made a fucking country under it. They wrote to Obama. This is insane. I am Ken, founder and president of Future Enterprises. The brand Future should be shared to all allow people to benefit globally. I know that my plan and the years of my life work will allow the creation of new jobs globally and create opportunity. It's like he made the brand, but how the fuck do you get a job out of it? Like, what, what job do we make? Like, he's got this design for the future like what is that a spacecraft that's like no that's like a fucking retail center there's so much future research centers radio television restaurant services publication hotels motels restaurant casinos industry services there's probably going to be future prostitution in this dude it's going to be everything this is insanity clothing and apparel stores theme parks providing facilities research there's going to be some future glory holes dude and I'm just going to say it like it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to say it like it is. I support this man and his plan for the future brand. Because I genuinely believe in the year 2055, when I'm, when I'm an older gentleman, there will be future flying cars, future instruments, future opera houses, future whatever the fuck you... In fact, in the comment section below, let me know what kind of a brand you would like to see in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, at least for now, let's back off and go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, dude, Besa Mafia. Now, we've actually seen this before, but it was glad to see that they've come back. Their site was gone for like a couple months, and now they are finally back and more secured. Besa Mafia. We are the Albanian Mafia. We are present in USA, Rudaj Organization. In Europe, Asia, Africa, and in Albania. We have members in each and every country, and we have expanded online as many as organizations. We are using security of Deep Web and Bitcoin. Basa Albanian Mafia. I'm going to call it Based Mafia, dude. Hire a killer or hitman. And there they got, like, I think that's, like, fucking, uh... Is that, is that Fousey Tube? Like, just fucking point, point a fucking Glock in the air? If you want to kill someone, beat someone, need services of a hacker, or buy pills, we are the right guys. We have professional hitmen available through... Oh, I'm sure you do. I am sure you do. Through, I, I love how I say that. One day I'm going to come across a real hitman agency that's like, let's just use this chubby India to test our service. And I'm going to have a fucking hot, steamy bullet in my eyeball. Uh, you can hire a contract killer easily. Hmm. Most of our gang members are drug dealers, but they do contracted killings when they're short on cash. No undercover cops, no risk of getting caught because, yeah, when you have to say that, there's probably a high fucking chance that they're undercover cops. We don't ask for your name, your number, or where you live. Based Mafia does not need credit card or bank account. You pay for Bitcoin. Yeah, if you charged me with credit card, I wonder, what do you think the fucking credit card charge would look like at your bank, right? $50,000 for a contract elimination. And also, you don't create account on our site. You place order and give us your secure email or wicker. All discussions are, are, are off the site to keep your IP away from hackers or the FBI. Never use your name on this site. Place <coughs> order and how you should be contacted. Use secure mails like Proton, SecMail for instant messaging when placing order for security reason. Our website is protected by Tor. Our website IP is not public. And police and FBI can't access again. Never. It won't be shut down again. Our professional hitman for hire. Do not disclose the identity. Cool. Okay, so they're back in more secured, meaning that they're pretty much claiming the feds can't shut them down. Um, we'll see. We will actually fucking see. But here it is. We are a number of mom members who know how to use modern ICT tools and offer our services online. We have a large network around the globe. When you order one of our service, we will contact one of our mob member close to the victim and he will provide the services to you locally. Whether you need killing, beating, killing, killing, beating and killing. Okay. To scare someone, burn, bum, burn house or car, get guns or poison, we can help you. So they charge 
thousand to a hundred thousand depending on the personality and the methods you want kind of a big fucking range if you ask me but sure uh beating we can beat up anybody you want from 2500 to 10 grand and here they get this level 35 crook to help you out that's cool setting cars and homes on fire 2500 to five grand holy goddamn shit they're gonna set that shit up in a blaze purchasing guns and poisons we can help provide weapons and poisons and depend on what you want okay be warned don't try hacking the site or risk your life i'm i'm sure i'm fucking sure 100 percent that's how it works now they've also got hacking services this is an organization and brokerage with a vast network of hacking services tailored to suit each client needs. Our consulting service provides professional hacking services for hire at your disposal and consists of individuals who have a variety of technical skills to meet each specific request. And then they mention like they can hack social media. They've got custom malware, custom Trojans, remote access Trojans and social engineering and everything in between. Our background varies from associate to associate that uh, specializes in computer security. So, all right, they've got multiple certifications. There are CISSP, CEA, GIACs, and many more. If you require professional hacking services, you've come to the right place. All right, I believe it. And then they've got email hacking so they can get any password from any email address. doesn't matter if it's a free address or private and corporate. I bet, dude, 100%. Hmm. Now, they can also do DDoS attacks, which... I don't think you have to mention if you can hack, then DDoSs are simple as fuck. Grade changing. I think these guys played a little bit too much uplink hacker fucking elite because right now I'm just leading the, I'm just reading the objective list for that game. It's kind of fucking insanity. Again, I'm probably going to find the one mafia group that actually can whack me. So, you know, it is what it is. If I'm not alive in the next couple days, you know what happened. To place an order, please fill the form below and explain. So you just send your email to like this secretary at like the base of mafia and i guess they like communicate with with the actual like base of mafia group now they also supply top purity research chemicals yeah this this site's a one-stop shop boys it's a costco for assassinations hacking and buying research grade elements what the fuck dude so you can buy zfdck alp dick et the three meal pep ew met pep met pep 2201 what are you looking at me for? What are you? I'm a fucking engineer and a goddamn chemist. What do you? What do you expect me to fucking know? Hell no. And then you can hire everything. So I guess these are like prices, and I assume they're probably in like euros or maybe dolans. Who knows? Uh, 250 grams of like 2F dick is like 1700. Uh, two kilograms is like 4400. I don't know if there's like a true saving in like buying this shit in mass bulk. Maybe there is. Actually, it does seem like there is slightly a bigger. It's cheaper to buy it all in one. And then if you go down, you can get like, uh, what's the most expensive thing on this list? Let me try to find it. There's got to be like the most expensive thing. Uh, so far, it seems like the most expensive is dick, which I, I'm not denying. I'm sure dick is the most expensive thing that I can find out there. I honestly don't know what these chemicals are. Like maybe they're, what if, if I search up dick, do I, I know I'm going to get something that I'm not sure about, but let me, let me see what dick as a chemical is. Dude, I feel like I'm looking up the product on how to build a fucking, like, bomb or some shit. I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable. I feel like I just looked up the... I feel like I looked up a guide on how to make, like, explosives. I don't feel comfortable, dude. I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's, uh, let's go somewhere else. Now, now I'm just... I really hope I don't get busted for looking up, like, potential ingredients to something. This is crazy. All right, so this is uh, this little JPEG that's been flying around on the dank web. All right, I found it. And uh, so this is a little interesting. Uh, a couple hours ago, actually, like less than 12 hours ago, I was streaming with Charlie, uh, Critical, if you don't know my name. And uh, he told me that Chris Evans' dick was leaked yesterday. Uh, I think we found it, boys. We found that Chrissy Evans' dick right now. I can't even deny it on deep web browsing. Of all things, we found America's dick around here. Uh, so this is a camera roll. I think it's somebody screenshotted, like Chris Evans. I think this is, um, is this Instagram? I think it's Instagram or, like, it's a Snapchat or something. And he, like, sent his dick out to a story. And this is, like, a picture of his gallery roll. So I guess we'll review as much as we can. We've got, we've got our boy Chris Evans looking hot as ever. We've got him guard that pussy. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> What the fuck? Guard that pussy, dude. He looks like the cat. He looks like the Chris Evans from that movie Cellular. 
If you don't know what that movie is, you've got to check it out. It's like Muda's movie recommendation for the week. Check out Cellular. Awesome, awesome movie. And then you've got, I guess he's like standing, like posing around something. This is like his buddy that's imposing. I think that's him. I think that's his buddy again. That's his dick, dude. Dude, that's a that's his cock right there. That's, that that can't be Chris. That's it's a black and white filtered cock. It's a, it's a it's a it's a cock. It's not even a, it's a good looking cock. I can't even deny it. Like I don't want to I don't want to sit here and review it for like ten minutes. But I gotta say that's uh, why is this floating around? Is this really like that hot of information? Like is this really breaking the internet? Like Chris Evans' penis is just like it it, it made it that fast to even dark web circles, clear web circles, whatever you want to call it. It's a black and white photo of his cock. And I mean, listen, I'm, I'll, I guess I'll rate the cock. It's got like a little uh, it, it's uh, it's obviously pointing to a direction left. It's a black and white photo, and I guess that's artistically done to make it look a little bigger than it is. And it's a very fine, big-looking dick. It's got, like, a clean shaft, nice pinchable tip, and I guess that's all I can really say. I mean, god damn, he's got... You know, I always liked Chris Evans, great actor, and now I know that he has a great fucking cock. What the hell? I can't believe I saw his cock on Deep Web Browsing. Man, I gotta do this series way more. This is why this is why the series isn't like just a weekly staple anymore. It's like when I when I got banger shit, I got banger shit. Sometimes I got banger stuff, and then I got big banger cocks. All right, that I didn't even expect to come across. Hmm. God damn, I feel kind of dirty having this. I feel like I should delete this JPEG. So I'm probably gonna fucking do that. But I'm glad that I know now. The fact that I've rated and seen Chris Evans' cock will now be a forever immortalized piece of content on my channel. God bless, dude. God bless. You know, that's the best part about uploading the way I do. You never really know what the fuck you're going to put out on the internet. And it's going to stick. It will stick. People will know that Muda reviewed his cock. If I'm going to give it a fucking IGN rating, it's a 9 out of 10, dude. Could be perfect. If it was in a color format, I would probably appreciate it. The black and white, I know it's artistic, but Muda don't appreciate that artsiness. Especially when it comes to a raw cock pick. But let's go to the next piece of deep web browsing. Jesus Christ. Oh, the Inferno Club. Ooh, this is spooky. This is spooky. If you see a lot of blurs right now, it's uh, it's because uh, there's some gore that they're posting and like stills from movies that are supposed to be spooky. Now, I'm going to translate a couple of this shit for you just to tell you how much I despise stuff like this on the deep web. The Inferno Club. The next session will start on 26.06.2018. Uh, it's a very old website, but it's still alive. In the Netherlands, the live stream will start at 21.30 CET. Secure your access. Oh, boy. Now, this is one of those, like, old red rooms, right? So if you go to September 2018, I fucking bet. I bet you're going to find to oh, download session video from March 2018 in Bulgaria, nine hours, 1080p bonus and picture for your safety. Encode the file with a secure password. After payment, you will redirect the download page. Please don't share this video or picture. So they want you to send exactly 0.06669 Bitcoin to this wallet. So I'm going to do a bit of, I'm going to do a bit of checks for, I'm going to see if anybody fell for the scam real quick. Let me give me a second. Oh, dude, dude, they fucking fell for it. They fell for the scam. Oh no, no. People sent them fucking money. They sent them 0 0.00793030 Bitcoin guys. They actually, okay. So they made some goddamn cash off the scam, dude. They made some cash. So why why they've sent the exact amount of money they received is so they can send it to multiple Bitcoin accounts and sort of launder the money that way. Effectively, they're sending it through a bunch of accounts, washing the money clean in the public ledger and having and basically getting away with scamming the fuck out of people. And if you want to see how much money that is in USD for today, it's not a whole heck of a lot. I'm sort of blowing it a bit out of proportion now that I look at it. 82 US dollars at the moment. In 2018, it may have actually been way higher because you can see Bitcoin actually had a severe drop from 11.6K to now, uh, well, not severe, 10K. So they probably max had like, what, 100 fucking, well, actually, no, one year. Let's go to the max real quick. Um, 2018, un unless they were like trading at like $19,000 levels, those record highs, they had double this amount basically. So what? 160 bucks they had. So yeah, it, you know, it's not a whole heck of a lot of money, but they still fucking made money off this bullshit scam. 
You want to know why this is a scam? Because there's no way that deep web services exist on the deep web, all right? Like, red rooms at least. Guys, red rooms are myths, okay? There's never been one actual fucking red room. Don't listen to any clickbaiter on the internet that tells you that they've existed. They have not. Okay, the deep web, the Tor Relay is not fucking strong enough to run 1080p, 9-hour streams of some dude being tortured. If it was, it would make massive headlines in the news. This shit took me maybe 5 minutes to find. Uh, a normie could find this in like 10 minutes. It's not that hard to look through. So this, this kind of a scam, don't fall for it. It's not real. Now, if you look at the access, they have multiple levels of access. So I guess we'll open all of them up. They have members, which I guess we'll also see for the members real quick. Login details. I uh, don't believe anything. Uh, this is all bullshit. I'm pretty sure. I, I think if I type whatever the fuck I wanted, I might be able to get into the club. It's probably it probably is like some interior member club. It's probably like a giant joke section. But if you go over to the uh, account over here, you can see that viewer access will let you download all videos and pictures. So it's kind of like subscribing to a snuffy OnlyFans. Uh, and then, as you can see, the increments increase, right, for what you do. Uh, here you'll get passive access to the site. So, I don't know, I guess forever in, into it. And then you get full access, so download everything possible. Uh, I think it's the same page. No, it, it's literally the same fucking page. Uh, they, they literally made, like, four options, but there are only two options. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, you can execute all your actions live. Uh, you can give live commands that will be executed by master of sessions. So it's basically like uh, Twitch, Twitch play snuff film, right? Like that, that's, that's what you're effectively looking at guys. It's a fucking scam. It is a scam. And you know what? I feel like whoever pays for this shit, even out of curiosity, even if you do, even if you do thinking that, ooh, maybe it might be, maybe if you're tantalized, understand one thing real quick. Just, just figure it out real quick. This shit's a honeypot, if anything. That means the law enforcement set this up so people can buy it and then, like, pretty much agree that they're buying, like, illicit videos and, like, uh, audio tapes or like, you know, just trying to, or, be, or being participants in murder. And that, that fucks you over later on. Again, I don't know the exact laws right now. It's way too early for me to get into it, but that's kind of the landmine that you are stepping into. Do not fall for this. In fact, do not do this. If you feel like you need to see this, understand that you, some things you should not satiate for sake of curiosity. With that said though, fuck this scam. All right. Two fingers up in the air. All right. Like this, let's go somewhere else. The money goddess experience. Become a money goddess and make money fall in love with you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, bud? Okay, bud. Let's look at that. So, are you ready to become a money goddess? You bet. Does this sound familiar? Okay, have you felt crushed or exhausted by the pursuit of money? I think everyone has. You undercharge or are underpaid, or you believe that people can't afford you, or you won't or won't pay you what you want. Um, I think a lot of people have been there. Yeah, you put your dreams on hold because you couldn't afford it. Yeah, I too wanted to fly to space in a Lamborghini, and but that's been my dream for a while. Uh, it, it's a very expensive dream. I, I hope I'll make it one day. So yeah, I feel that you're great at making money and even better at losing it. No, because I'm an adult and I can fucking budget my finances. Uh, you've achieved success, but it has cost you dearly in terms of time, energy, health, relationships, or joy. Uh, maybe not time, energy for sure. Health, no. Relationships, sure. Or enjoy, no. I, I like what I do for a living. Thank you. You want to make money easy, and you want to know it will always be there for you. Well, there's no such way as making money easy. It's hard fucking work. Don't, don't fall for this. You want to love every part of yourself and take the limits off what you feel you deserve. Yeah, I want my entitlement to kick in. Fuck yeah. I will guide you step by step through my proven... Si Every fucking time I hear about proven systems to make money, I'm going to lose it. Money is the number one excuse women give for not living. I don't think it's a sexual thing. I think men also have the same uh, excuse. We have a lot of common with guys, but women are motivated differently than men. That cutthroat, take no prisoners, go for the bur burn, dominate your competition, success at any cost mentality that can feel really good if you have a ton of testosterone, can feel really bad if you don't. What? 
Dude, I've met tons of chicks in my business that are fucking cutthroat like hell, dude. I don't think it's a testosterone thing. I just, I, I think it's just like a, I think it's just like an alpha thing. You know what I mean? Uh, and because we're told things work a certain way and we should feel certain, we blame ourselves when someone else's model doesn't work in our life, or even when it does work financially. The cost of success is too high. Yeah, no shit. Okay, it's called hard work. It's called sacrifice. It's not some cutesy Hallmark card saying. It's supposed to be that way. Uh, I've worked with women with enormous hearts and desire to make a difference in the world. Okay, there's another way. Let's see the other way. You get to be ambitious, strategic, powerful, and wealthy and successful. But you get to be yourself, be fulfilled, and be well-loved at the same time. So she's going to teach me how to make money fall in love with me. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Make it rain on me, daddy. I like these... um. I like these uh, testimonials. My mortgage company called and asked us if we would like to refinance our house at a lower rate and they would cover all the expenses. Called us, is that a miracle or what? Baby, I don't know if you checked in with your mortgage company, but they might be trying to fleece your ass. You should check. Oh, Morgana, I am deliriously happy. Thank you. I had the courage to live this life because of you. And I picked up four new clients this week. That sounds like you did the fucking hard work. You don't have to thank anyone else for it. Bullshit. You did the hard work. Pat yourself on the back. Uh, let's see. Not only have I attracted more spontaneity to my life, but more money too. Ten grand within 48 hours? She's like, uh, thank you, Morgana. Uh, real blessful. You taught me how to make a lot of cash in 48 hours. That gas station guy in a 5'7"? Ooh, man, what a combination, dude. I got away scot-free. She forgot to add that to the, <laughs> to the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> to the fucking testimonial, right? The Money Goddess home study program is here. Filmed live at the sold out Money Goddess experience in LA. It's a studio apartment. Let's not fucking lie. 20 content packed high def videos. That's 10 hours of content rich transformation. And if, dude, can we just get fucking pay money Wubby here real quick? He can fucking sit down with me and we can watch 10 hours of this bullshit and tell you how nonsense it. I'm sorry if I sound really heavy. It probably is good advice, but it's probably really generic money making advice. I'm going to be fucking real with you. Let's see what the cost is real quick here. How much are we getting charged? You, okay, no, I'm done. I know this is a joke. When they start putting the value like $3,500 value, $97 value, 20 money goddess strategies, uh, bonus material, how to create a six-figure website on a shoestring. Yours now for $44.80. $19.97? There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. There is a fucking way. Two grand? She's the one making the cash. Two grand? Two fucking poggers, my guy. You made two grand, <laughs> two grand for this? Oh, you can fist my ass and call me Billy Ray Cyrus. I'm going to back the fuck out of this one, dude. The home study course gives you a new relationship with the money you fucking lost. Your own Persephone map to show you who your ideal clients are. The obliteration of your most limiting belief. Yeah, you do. You do obliterate your two fucking grand, dude. Over 20 grand has come to me in different unexpected ways outside my regular income. I, I believe it. There's no proof to these claims, but sure. I now have an adult, confident, successful, loving perception of myself. That's great. It seems like you discovered how to love yourself. Our financial strength allowed us to enjoy it. increased time that we could have our second honeymoon for nearly a whole year. Okay. Where's the fucking evidence, dude? God damn. Who am I and how can I help you unleash your money goddess? I love when they tell you they were on like ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox. It's probably like one article they made and called it a day. I don't know. They were with uh, Deepak Chopra, Mar Marianne Williamson, John Asraf, T. Harv Ecker, John Gray. I, Dude, I'll be real with you. I'm not sure I believe half this shit, but whatever, dude. Maybe maybe I'm just a cynical fuck. I love how here's the signs you're ready to join the movement. Ooh, what are the signs? Uh, you experience the energy drain of the Athena overwhelm syndrome. Yeah, it's called stress. Your wounded Aphrodite responds with compulsive eating. Yeah, it's called depression. Then Persephone's tailspin, you don't fully realize your personal value. Yeah, it's called not understanding your... It's, it's very... It, it sounds like a midlife crisis shit to me. You feel like there's something wrong with you. There's always something wrong with me daddy you want your life to feel more easy natural and magical what the fuck this is the most generic statements in the world god damn i am hurting physically man 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It burns me when, cause like, you know, that there's a bunch of sales for this. Like we like sit here and laugh about it. Like we're like, ah, whatever. Nobody buys it. They fucking buy it, dude. They buy it. They buy That's why the site's still up. They buy this shit, dude. They buy it. There's some sucker who comes in here down on their luck. No self-confidence. They're like, man, I've got nothing to my name, but $1997. How do I make a million dollars and achieve all of my problems? You know, all of my successes. They give their money here, guys. I'm telling you, it's a very, very weird Pepe thing. I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. That being said, though, let's back out and go somewhere where I'm not going to have a goddamn brain aneurysm. Femaleled.org with mother, mother goddess earth.com. Life and nature, the point. Welcome to the wild world web of the matriarch empire. Celebrating 15 years, an empire built by women, not paper dollars. Women don't just make life. We make life. Somebody break into my house. We make life better. Founders message. Love in fucking. <laughs> this word clip art, dude. Love, life, and nature. Feature artist of 2019. I gotta like look if there's any like gamer words or like fucking porno pictures in this because like I don't I don't want I don't want to get no copyright strike or not copyright strike you can't get that but I don't want to get like a guideline strike for something that I've shown, uh but anyways yeah matriarch lifestyles that's cool they've got photos of of of, of a baby, photos of of people and like a Medusa they've got an old person oh look the little women are talking, what you jam in your brain surely rocks your future so. It, it obviously is a website that's just like entirely for like the matriarch empire, whatever that is. It's the first time I'm kind of hearing of it. So kind of cool. Uh, God bless. Cause last time we looked at something like this, it was like that scum manifesto where it's like cutting up men. This is just like, whatever, dude, you know, couple, couple, couple women who are like, you know, just leading the matriarch empire. That's kind of cool. You know, it's, it's all fine. Farms of the future for the love of organics. Okay. So they're farming and stuff too. I mean, it's, just, Okay, so you, this this shit looks cool, dude. It looks kind of nice. Reputation zero out of a hundred. Oh, not nah. <sighs> might want to delete that JPEG, dude. That's a little scary. Now they also got donations, so that's cool. Work with us, build better. Uh, self-sustained farms. That's a whole different site. They actually have like farms and stuff. They do got farms. They got cities of the fucking future. They got they got self-sustained green farms. Do they even got t-shirts? I want a t-shirt. I want to wait. Love Gaia City. I got to see Love Gaia City. What the fuck? Dude, that's dude. Love Gaia City looks banging. That looks clean. That looks crisp. That looks awesome. That looks like a Brita filter or uh, ongoing exclusions and general restrictions. Flash sale disclaimer. Uh, dude, I just want a book, but they sell everything. Dude, they even sell like rugs. I'd love to have a rug. I'd love to have. Oh, page not found. Okay, so they're not really selling anything. Join us. Donate chat. Weekly annual donations are accepted and greatly appreciated. Tax voucher issued upon receipt. That's a lot of donations right now. Mailing donations. This site is just filled to the brim with fucking donations. Uh, I love reading the chat here. It's like, this is where you tell how base that shit is. Uh, sucks you off as a... <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that's a, that's a little weird. Hello, I am male wishing to be tortured. Yes, my cock and Baba Yaga need to be brutally punished. My name is Dan and I have hemorrhoids. <laughs> dude, dude, it's, it's just getting trolled, dude. Any other women of color here? This is so pointless. Why does this exist? Jesus Christer. Hi, is there a goddess to serve here? Ooh, queen. Yo, this site dead as fuck. This is from 2019, by the way. Uh, only willing participants. All right. Are there any slaves too? I am submissive male. Males must obey all the strong women here. Uh, my name is so so soy balls. Okay, where it's like uh, burn the debt, save the humans, free foreclosure, mortgage, debt focus, group by church and nonprofit services. So. Uh, in 2009, she left the corporate world and has become devoted to humanitarian, nonprofit, and spiritual religious causes. Her skills now benefit only people. Join with us in a community effort to learn and share with our neighbors. Then she starts talking to you about foreclosure mortgages, right? Where um, I guess they're trying to like get rid of it. Or they're trying to like, you know, burn the people that have a crazy amount of debt because of their foreclosures. Uh, donations have been scared. Man, they always 
throw donations like crazy. Now here they said bad debt. We are gearing up to buy debts of all kind. Factoring investors, investors welcome, meaning you will owe the church and nonprofit. We will then settle with you and apply all money paid to the farms being developed. Once the debt is paid, we will notify you to attend an official debt burning ceremony to celebrate your freedom from debt. It will never be resold or sent to another third party for any reason. The debt stops here and your life begins free from burden. Are you fucking kidding me right now? You're just going like... I don't really know how this benefits the person that... What? This is, this is insanity. And it's like a whole giant Google-like thing to file up for you. Let's go down to female supremacy. What percentage of violence is committed by men? 86%... Oh. Oh! 90% males do it. 87% stalkers. 87% firearm suicides are men. 86% domestic violence incidents. Stalkers. 99% of men... Oh, dude, compare... Damn, dude. 61 out of 62 mass shooters are all men. Good guys of our world do not have green lights for women to know if they're safe, not abusive, respectful of women. We need to know who the good guys are in the world. Please register with us. So here's the good men link. I want to be a good little boy. Let me know how to be... Registry for men. Matriarch Church. For men, we are coming to you soon. This is not new. It's ancient. Matriarch societies were very successful... I think someone's been playing way too much. You know, I'm always one of those people that's a big fan of equality. Uh, when you got, like, division like this, it's kind of fucking scary. Let's see what they want to help with. So they got, they're getting men to help with the repair maintenance. Oh, ho, 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 ho. household, general help, RV improvements, steel fabrication, welding, art plan. Ah, ah the, the welding speaks a lot, don't it? God damn, this is a very... This is, a, this is a very dividing website, man. I'm usually, I'm a big fan of, like, just having people be equal and together, you know, kumbaya, the whole world works. But this is just, it's like female domination, sacred female. Okay, I gotta see the true natural ruler females. All right, man. This is like, this is like, this is like the simp site, dude. This is like the God bless the teeth. Let's see the teeth real quick. Let's see how much money I have to give. Current fundraiser, 10000 to $50,000? What? You have got to be out of your... F oh, that's for animal rescue, though. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with... Aw, dude, the little cat. Little fat cat. Aw, oh, man. Dude, I'd give 50 grand to see that fat cat smile. Oh, here's the Church of the Divine Mother. The Untainted Divine Mother. No soul or life has been taken by force. A religious faith that is unshakable and sound. Divinity does not kill. Dare to put your faith with the deceitful realm and reap the karma that lingers within they got so many fucking donation pages it's not even funny and if you think the site is like dead they got a 2020 posting boys and girls they're talking about acquiring 10 acres of land in new york pennsylvania and wherever fla is uh phase two which is building hubs and housing and then opening to the public uh 24 7 365 by phase three so years they are really fucking committed to this man they're really committed to be building like a church or like an entire community of their own. And they're needing like three to 500 grand in the first phase, two to five million in the second phase, and one to three million dollars in the third phase. All right, you know what? I'm going to back out of this. I'm going to save this website. If you actually want me to browse, and this is a big thing in the comments, please feel free to spam at me. If you want me to check the female future in an entire separate video, Please let me know in the comment section. I'd be glad to sit down this week and just bury myself into the female future. This is fucking wild. With that said, though, we're going to back out and go somewhere else. And ladies and gentlemen, that was another episode of Deep Web Browsing 231. I got to say, it's a weird week, man. We've seen the good old, the good old based mob. We've seen the female future. Okay? The future! We've seen the future uh trademark god that was a terrible segue and if anything else was to be the biggest highlight for this week is even on the dank web i came across a nice photo of chris evans genitals this has been a wild week and you know what god bless it what a based week so far i'm gonna back out and i'm gonna get a little bit of a nap and then wake up and edit it again and probably then see Chris's genitals and maybe give it a postscript review if I have to. I'm really stuck on that genital stuff, dude. I might have I might be feeling some type of way. Who knows? It's a little too early. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am.